Hello, beautiful carnivorians. My name's Elizabeth. I am Reen's niece. Um, you might hear her call me Becky because that's my nickname. Don't ask my father about that one. Um, and I wanted to pop on here real quick and just to tell you uh, a little adjunct of what Reen had said about the herbalism. I'm a registered nurse and I'm also an herbalist and I've been using herbs for not as long as Aunt Reen, but I've been using them for quite a few years now and um, they're just undeniably powerful. And so even though it's a plant, I wouldn't, um, herbs or plants, they're not vegetables or fruit. And there's a huge distinction in that. So herbs have been around, gosh, for forever. Um, since man has been here, probably maybe before. And even 40% of our pharmaceuticals today are derived from plants. So um, I'm not big on pharmaceuticals, believe it or not, being an RN. Because there's so much power in herbs and you can use them almost in every case you don't even have to worry about side effects or any of the things that come with pharmaceuticals so they're definitely something to keep in your arsenal and not to treat it as though it's a vegetable or plant and I have my own homestead so I raise my own goats chickens pigs I wish I had cows but not enough acreage um, and garden beds uh, full of perennial uh, herbs and uh, the the way that I've come to understand things is that animals when it comes to vegetables the reason why part of the reason why it's so good for us to consume the animals is they consume the vegetable matter that we cannot properly digest and assimilate in our bodies um, and so it's just great that that we do can have the animal products so because they do the consumption for us and then we eat them and then we get all the healing fats and collagens and all the B vitamins and all the iron and folate and I could go on and on about the healing um, magic of meats but you already know it I'm sure so I just wanted to pop on here and and give you a little history there maybe I can come on board a little bit and explain some of the herbs and even how you can grow them yourself even if you don't have any land by the way I'm only on one acre all of the stuff that I just told you about I'm only on one acre so sidebar thing there um, and how you can incorporate in your carnivore lifestyle so it's so good to see everybody here thank you so much for having me